I am back with like my favorite eye makeup ever, which is definitely not gonna be for everyone because it is neon. And I love neon, especially during the summer. Also, just gonna shout out my cousin-in-law. Cousin-in-law, is that a thing? Well, that's who it is. For these amazing clay earrings, I got like three of them from her. They are so cute and affordable on Etsy. I will put the shop down below, but they are so cute and I love them. And they will go perfect with today's eyeshadow look. So I already did my face makeup and all that because it's irrelevant to the video. And normally when I use bright colors, I will typically do the eyeshadow first because a lot of brighter colors, if there's any fallout onto your face, it's just messy. I mean, that's with any colors, but especially with neon. I've used this palette enough and done this look enough to where I'm comfortable with doing my face makeup first for the, this video. Normally I always do my eyes first. Um, but if you're like a beginner with eyeshadow or bright colors, I recommend doing that before your face makeup. And let's go ahead and get started with the look. And this look, the reason I love these neon looks, which people always think, okay, so these neon colors seem so bright and bold, which makes it seem like it's gonna be so hard to do. But I think the total opposite. I think neon looks or a bold statement are easier than anything else because I think I use like three colors. I really just am going to go in with like one shade here, a lid shade, and then a little sparkle on top. But you'll see. So I think it's super easy. So in this case, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Neon. This is the orange one. It looks a little pink. It is kind of pinky coral, but it's technically the orange, orange one. Is that right? Whatever. It's this one. And my transition shade for this look is going to be yellow. I've already put some concealer on on accident, but that's typically not something I prefer. So I'm still going to go in with a little bit of this MAC Paint Pot. Just lay it down there little bit tiny bit okay that should be good now we're gonna go in with yellow as my transition so to call it basically in the crease so I'm gonna go in with this yellow with these bright colors you definitely want to tap off with this palette too a lot's gonna come off and I'm just gonna lay that into this area right above my crease add some yellow I love using yellow as a sort of transition from with pink colors or corals because it just reminds me of like a sunset I don't know the colors just go so well together alrighty I don't know okay there is that so there's the one eye so again this is super quick and easy I'm literally just throwing this yellow it blends out so wonderfully that it really does not require much work which is another great thing for beginners so there, I already have a little transition shade going on. And then this step, ah, is totally, what is the word? Optional? Yeah, that works, Shannon. Optional. Um, so I went from yellow and I'm gonna grab this like, orangey yellow shade to go kind of more in the crease, but you totally don't have to do that. It, it's totally okay just going straight in with that pink okay so again this is just gonna be a quick coat make sure you tap off and this one's gonna go a little more into the crease a little lower onto the lid and I go in with this shade honestly just because like yellow orange pink like it just seems to like work 
blend nicely those three colors but again I'm just going in like one time just to kind of make it a little less harsh when I go in with this bright bright pink in this palette okay now this is the big moment the big pink this pink right here and I honestly I'm gonna start by just grabbing a little on a brush but then I'm just gonna go in with my finger because it works really well it picks it up nicely and they're really smooth uh, eyeshadows so I just go in with my finger but to start I'm just gonna pick some up on a brush that's a little flatter and just honestly spread it on there and start blending it this is why I go in with the blush the, br the brush first because I want to be able to blend it into those upper colors which is a little harder to do with your fingers obviously than a brush so for the blending part into those creases I like to go in with the brush and I'm gonna go back in with the transition shade eventually just to finish it all off most people that know me know that in the summer especially this is definitely my go-to eyeshadow look obviously when I can be due to the colors I mean you can't wear it with everything but lucky for me I like white I like pink um, so I do wear a lot of colors where I can make this work but obviously I'm not gonna go and wear this hot pink eyeshadow with I mean it does go with a lot of colors I'm trying to think I don't know it would look weird with like a purple probably so all right so now that I have it like laid down doesn't go perfectly with my earrings it's a little these are a little more like hot pink this has more of like an orangey look to it but they don't clash and I'm not mad at it so now I'm gonna go in with my finger and like I said I'm just going to push it into the lid more so pick it up and pat it in rather than like be blending it all over I'm literally patting it onto my eyelid. And this just really packs the punch more so. You're really getting a lot of pigment when you do this. And I mean, this isn't a look to shy away from the pigment. Like, the whole point of doing this look is so that it is bright and bold. So if that's not what you're going for, you can definitely like blend these to a lighter shade or like just use them in the crease. But I would say when you're buying a neon palette, you're going for it. Okay, so now I have it all laid down and it is looking fabulous if I do say so myself I'm gonna go back in and this time I'm just gonna combine the two yellow and orange shades and just kind of blend it on top of that pink mainly above like where the crease is we're not trying to get onto the lid just to make that transition seamless Alrighty. Guys, that could honestly be it. Really could. I'm gonna choose to go a little more and I'm just gonna grab this pink glitter or metallic, whatever. I'm so bad at that. That's one thing I need to work on. I think it's a glitter or shimmer. And I'm just gonna put it into the middle of the eyelid only with my finger, like I've always said when using sparkles of any kind I like my finger it just picks up butter and I'm mainly putting it on the middle and out inside not the outside and then that 
is basically it. I'm gonna go in with a finishing touch of using this white shimmer and just laying it under my eyebrows. I've never used this color, so actually like this probably isn't the smartest, but I just picked up a little bit on there. Already did my eyebrows and all that, so I'm just trying to carve them out a little more. This stuff is totally optional. I barely touched it. And then last step, I'm going to pick up a little brush with that same white color and just touch the inner corners. Did that really do anything? I've never used this palette, so. Mm. Okay, I mean, okay, there we go. Sometimes when it's like a new thing, you kind of need to pick up some of it because it could have like a film. I don't know what the word would be, but it doesn't always pick up on the first go around. And then that's that. Now I just go in with the lower lash line, which when I do a neon look or basically any look, but especially neon or bold colors, I definitely recommend going under the lash line because it's going to make it like I always say this, but just like more cohesive. And <clears throat> I think just, again, like it looks a little harsh if it's just like this without any blending down here. So I'm just going to grab, oh, you know what? Where's my new brushes I was gonna talk about in my next video, which is gonna be influencer video. So I have like brushes by some, not influencers, but YouTubers with them I have a few eyeshadow palettes I have setting powders I have blushes I have highlighters all youtubers so that's gonna be my next video so I'm gonna grab the yellow and the orange and run that through the lower lash line again this is just to kind of put something down before we go in with that hot pink oh my under eyes are not looking the best right now okay so now I'm gonna go in with the hot pink and we are going to get that on the outside you want it to meet the other eyeshadow on the top and then once I've packed it more on there with the excess I'm gonna run it all across And that is that. It's so easy. Literally, like I said, like you really don't have to have that many skills because I even like just use my finger for the main pink. So I really think like most people could do this look. And I think it looks so good a lot of times when I do this, just because a lot of people don't use these kind of colors, probably that doesn't hurt. But I get so many compliments on my eyeshadow when I do this because you just don't see those bright colors a lot and it's just so pretty and fun in the summer. So I'm just going to go ahead because you guys don't really need to see it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on mascara and then my bottom eyeliner. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do top eyeliner so when I come back and I'm all done, I will let you know if I decided to. Okay, be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so I just threw on some mascara, and I didn't end up going with the eyeliner. Um, I just grabbed a black eyeshadow, actually, and rubbed a little bit along the outer corner lash line. And then I went in with a pink eyeliner with a little bit of black eyeliner on the outside, which is my go normal. And that is it. So, there we go. Love it. I am getting ready to go to dinner soon. So people better appreciate this look. All right, catch me with my next video, which like I said, will be all YouTuber makeup. See you then.